Well, well, what it do, comic bros? Today, we gonna break open Marvel's latest reprint of Spider-Man, Ben Riley Omnibus Volume 1, aka the Scarlet Spider-Man. Oh yeah, a lot of people been waiting for this reprint, and it's a must. I give it to you in direct and ex fashion. This is Power of Comics. I'm your host, Super Sean. Let's get into this. Ben Ryan, Volume 1. So a lot of people have been waiting on this reprint. This is the standard cover. The DM cover looks a little like this. Yo, let's take a look at the spine, Volume 1. This is one of the most anticipated omnibuses of the year, easily. Let's look at the back right now. As you can see, it has the same layout as mostly all the Marvel omnibuses, but every single cover that makes up a, this story in this book, printed on the back. I think that's one of the trends that DC should copy because I mean, who doesn't love a cover guy, right? Show y'all the front image one more time. Now let's take off of this. Let's see how it looks out of cover. And you can see wow, how that works. The spine. Now, pretty nice image on here. I love how the graphic cover looks. It's very, very nice. I dig it, and I can't wait to open it up, man. So let's get this omnibus open and see what it do. Just the blue construction paper right there. You know, keeping it original. Okay, got a stunning image of Spider-Man right on the side. And, we, and it kicks off with web of the Scarlet Spider. Sp Scarlet Spider, he always had one of my favorite Spider-Man costumes, like. I always thought his his joint was fire, you know, with the little hoodie on it, though. Like, you feel me? His stuff was just so different. We finally got this reprint, y'all. We finally got this Ben Riley Cone Saga reprint, which y'all been wanting. A lot of y'all been wanting. Is it gonna live up to the hype, though? Because from what I remember, this joint was not well received. You know, I, I heard a lot of things about this. It was convoluted. It lasted way too long. Yada da yada da yada. So it's time for you to see for yourself. Oh, a little fire star in here. That's what I'm talking about. The art does look great, though. The art does look great. I'm a big fan of uh Tom DeFalco. I know he didn't. He wasn't the writer. It was Terry, but you know. Usually, when stuff that he was an editor on was good comics, like his his era editing was dope. We need to get some DeFalco armies too, man. Stop playing, Marvel. I'll just get some of that DeFalco love. But to fully understand the Clone Saga, you gotta take it back to Jerry Conway in the, in the Amazing Spider-Man series in the 1970s. Oh yeah, now that one was, that one when it first came out was a classic. Along came a spider. Whoa, look at that. This is fire. This, this should have been a DM right here. Now this, dope. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So, when it came out in the 70s, the story was mostly focused on Gwen Stacy, y'all. The Clone Saga was not about Ben and Peter, y'all. It was about Gwen and Stacy. Gwen had got cloned. Gwen had died and then came back to life. And so that's how the clone saga Jerry Conway's run began. And that is still kind of beloved to this day. There has been several clone saga stories. But the one in the 90s is the one that's one of the most popular ones. The one that kind of stuck with it. With Peter and Ben. We all know who the clone is, right? But if you don't, 
It's not gonna spoil it for you. And it's not who you think it is. <laughs> but yes, yes. This man, around 1990, this thing, you know how long this stuff was supposed to be wrapped up? And it, this thing lasted three years, y'all. Three years they milked this storyline, Marvel did. Because of how high the sales were at the time. Because it started off promising. It did. But as you dig deeper and deeper in the run, it, that's when it mostly seems like a crap. That's when it starts to seem like a cash grab. And what can I say? It starts to get a little convoluted. I mean, it could it, it was supposed to end way before three years was up. But y'all know when Marvel uh, hits something, they're going to keep going to the well. And nothing has changed to this day, y'all. To this day. Dope image of Carnage right there. Or a Venom-infected Spider-Man, I don't know. Gosh, it's been so long since I've read some of this stuff. It has been so long. Got a web of carnage in here, yeah. It was not well received, y'all. People were not happy how the subplots had wrapped up or nothing. They felt like it was just way too long and it didn't have a payoff. It's sad because it did start off so promising. Everybody was so excited for this story. I remember that. But yeah, that is that is the overview of the Scarlet Spider-Man Omnibus Ben Riley Volume 1. No extras, really? Uh, maybe a few. Not really. I just that people. This is Power Comics. I'm your host, Super Sean. I'm gone. And if you love it, sub it. If you hate it, fake it and sub it anyway. We are a small channel and we are just trying to grow, people. And we are we are a small channel and we are just trying to grow, people, you know? Bring y'all good content. I'm going to stay at leveling up, getting better at this. I'm just a guy who loves comics, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button.